of an unusual one today. Um, come down to Offerton in Stockport. It's a cricket day, Offerton Cricket Club. And every now and again you might be able to hear the cheers in the background. It's surrounded by woodland, it's surrounded by lots of woodland walks. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to capture uh, something that might be in the woods around Offerton Cricket Club. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of a tree that's fallen down. I'm going to have my little character sat on here watching the cricket in the background. The character that I think is going to be sitting watching is um, an Offerton Hatter. We'll see how that goes. This is pretty much everything I need for painting outdoors now. I've got a rucksack with um, paint and my painting board. And there's actually um, a chair attached to it as well. So you're, you're actually sitting on your bag. All my electrical equipment for the video, tripod and easel. And I can set that up and video myself whilst I'm painting. This is perfect painting conditions there today. There's no wind. It's warm without being stiflingly hot. This is where I'm going to play with scale a little bit um, with this painting because the branch that the creature is going to be sitting, the character is going to be sitting on is huge. It's like a, a tree trunk that's fallen down. But if I painted it that size, then and then the character, the size that I want the character to be, the character would get lost. So what I'm doing is I'm making the character larger and the tree trunk smaller so that I can get the scale of the things next to each other the same. And when you're adapting reality to your painting, you can do that. You can say, I want that bit, but I don't want that bit. I'm painting from reality, but I'm not. I'm making it my reality, as usual. There's a gap in the trees here. And that's where the game of cricket is going on here. So then you've got all the grass and everything in the foreground. And there's a lovely um, play in the two angles of the trees there that go round and then this branch comes and sits round here. And work my little creature is going to be sitting is actually on this bit so I might actually lower that slightly because he's going to be sitting here so that's going to, again that's going to be in the background there and he's just chilling on there can't see the tree the ones underneath but on here, there will be different hats because this is an often hatter. And this often hatter, who used to work at Battersby Hat Company, lost his home um, when the mill was pulled down to make way for the houses. So I think all the hatters that used to be in there have made their way to the local woods. So all these hatters are still making hats. They're making hats out of things that you find in the woods. They used to make them out of felt and straw. Very famous Battersby 
hat company, very famous. But all these old hatters, who knew what they were doing, they've had to move somewhere, and I think they've moved into the woods. So this is going to be the painting for today. So now I know where he's going to be, I can think about the lights, uh, the tones of the painting to make sure the tones work. This section behind here is going to be really light. In there. Down here is going to be quite dark. Ooh. And this is why I like in there is very dark. This is why I like um, days with no wind. This is why I like days with no wind because your stuff doesn't get blown all over the place. I haven't had to tie this on or anything. So that's going to be all dark behind there. And then he's going to have highlights around him to make him stand out from the background. Not worried about colour, all I'm worried about at the moment is tone. Again, those hats will be lit by highlights. There's a strong line coming through the paint in there. So I'm just going to get as much information from this place as possible. Then I might take a couple of photographs just to make sure I'm, I've got reference for later. But what I like about painting here in situ is I can hear the cricket match going on. I can hear birds in the background. It's all part of the atmosphere of what I'm painting. It's like what he's experiencing. I can hear it too, which makes painting him a lot easier. All right, I think. That's pretty much where the tones are going to be. Right, get started on the colours. It's not sunny today, um, but there is a lot of brightness in the sky. So I can definitely get a sense of light coming through, which is what I want to do. But there is, it's very hazy sunshine. So, or cricket noises, not cricket noises like that, rubbing their back legs together, but cricket as in the sound of leather on willow or plastic on plastic, depends what bat you've got. What you can see here is I'm doing the cricket ground in the background, Offerton cricket ground, and the colours I'm choosing here are all greys and purples and lilacs with slight grey greens to get that bit definitely in the background because it's if I look there it's all green and brown but what I need to do is use the rest of the spectrum of colours to trick the eye into thinking that some things are behind others and you do that using um, atmospheric perspective making sure that the things at the back is that they've got almost like a washed out feel and then as things get closer towards you they get more vivid so as we get down to the actual cricket ground on the outfield the green changes it becomes more vivid, that cl close clipped grass of the outfield. 
takes on a um, a very pale look. Someone's just done a really good shot there. Battersby Hats was the trading name of Battersby & Co, a hat manufacturer in Offerton in Stockport. The original factory appeared on maps in 1895 and in 1966 they merged with others to form the Associated British Hat Manufacturers. In 1997 hat production ceased and the factory was used as the first hat works museum which later moved to another site. In 2019 development started on the factory site for 144 homes there's also a wonderful WI group in Offton who are known as the Offton Hatters. I'd like to think that my little character is the embodiment of the spirit of the factory workers who has been displaced by the decline of the industrial factories and has sought out a home in the woodland near the River Goit. Cadmium yellow, ultramarine, I've got a bit of cobalt in there. Um, crimson, titanium, raw rumba, my usuals. Okay, I'm happy with the background bit. I'm going to wait to put the cricketers in later on so that they fit in well with what I'm doing around the trees. They can go in last. The next layer I'm going to be doing is these background trees. Um, putting those further back um, than this branch here. So just brightening up those colours slightly. Gosh, that was a heck, heck of a knock, that one. Oh, that looks like uh, they're all out. So, I make that lunch. I've already had my lunch, though, so I'm just going to carry on. As long as these flies and midges don't make lunch of me, I'll be okay. So now I'm using a very vivid lime yellow to show where the tree is really caught in the light as as it goes up this tree I think this is uh, one of those ivies that just wraps itself round. It's so peaceful here, it's lovely. I can hear wood pigeons and blackbirds. Hmm. They're flying all over the place at the moment. I've got the background in as much as I want. I want to get a feeling of going across there with the branches, so I might work on that a little bit more um, with the highlights. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get in the cricketers and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use um, a purple shadow to put the forms in and then put a white highlight over the top. And then I'm going to do a like a burnt patch through here showing where the wicket is so I'm just putting the uh, cricketers details on now oh, here we're up this is where we're up to might be able to see some shadows as some sun just starting to come out. It's getting a little bit warmer as well. 
that's where I'm up to with the cricketers in the background. I'm going to start work on the, the log that's going across now. I'm tempted to get a really big brush out for this, but there's quite a lot of detail in there and I'm worried that if I just bang it on with a really big brush, I'm going to lose a lot of it. So I'm going to pick my way around the branch, putting in the moss and the twigs and everything, um, as well as starting to work on the Offerton Hatter. The other thing I'm going to start introducing, which I haven't used a lot in the background, is reds. Reds tend to be more visible and um, more obvious the closer to you they get as well. I've painted in the two branches that are going across the scene um, and I've started to paint in the little Offerton Hatter. Um, I'm going to make sure that that um, was working well with the rest of the painting and I'm going to do the foreground and I think that's as much information as I'm going to be able to get on location. Um, I'll take some reference photographs then and then I can take it home and really work on it so it says exactly what I want it to. I've caught the little hatter now with his hats on the branch whilst he watches the cricket. I'm just going to do the foreground now uh, and then that'll be it for today in the woods. That bit there. With the foreground, I'm just using a mix of greens and I'm putting the greens on in the direction of the growth of the plant. So that once I put individual leaves on later, the under painting won't be flat. I've put the basics of the foreground in now. I've got some of the fern structures in that I wanted to get in. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take some photographs um, so that I can take this back to the studio where I can wear my glasses properly and work back into it and get it exactly how I want it. But <laughs> somebody else appealing for a wicket there. Um, the light keeps changing as well, there's some dark clouds come over, so I'm quite happy with where I'm up to now. I'll just wait for the sun to come back out and then take some photographs. Painting's finished from yesterday. All I've done is just worked back into it with picking out the ferns, the details on the hats um, and making sure it tells the story that I want it to tell and once I've done that I'm, pre I'm pretty much stopped with paintings I don't want them to look real um, or hyper realistic super you know realistic I just want them to tell the story that I want them to tell and once they do that job I'm happy So we're here we have the Offerton Hatters painted uh, yesterday at Offerton Cricket Club and finished off today in the studio. Thanks to everyone who subscribed to my channel. Uh, it's fantastic to have so much support from everyone. If you do like the video, subscribe and click the like to support me in doing more. Um, all my paintings and prints of my paintings are available on my website and the link for that all is in the description for the videos. Thank you so much.